Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am here with Amy, and we are ministering to 10 people. We love ministering. The Lord yes. told me in September, so somewhere in the middle, beginning of September, the Lord said 10 people every day. And so from that time until now, I've been able to minister every day to 10 people, and uh, I've always had someone to come and help me. <laughs> I think there was once or twice that I did it by myself, yeah. and so I was always. Uh, happy to have someone and so Amy is amazing and so uh, I just thank her she's uh, doing a great job she also has her own YouTube channel so she's always recording something and but the recordings is mine is easy I have to prophesy this is very difficult she's got to sing because she's a worship leader and she loves singing so I'm glad I'm not doing a channel where I'm singing <laughs> almost every day so uh, I'll rather prophesy than sing but uh, Amy sing uh, beautiful uh, when I was younger, I used to think I sing very pretty. Uh, right now, uh, I'll rather just prophesy that rather than sing. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I might have to get some singing lessons if I really want to sing. But uh, the first person I want to minister to today is Gloria. Okay, so Gloria, uh, the Lord showed me that He has set you as a gatekeeper in your family. But then you are also a pioneer and you not only close the gate for the enemy to come in, but you also open up the gate for the glory of God to come into your life and into your family's lives. And I see how you are receptive to God, to what He is doing, and how you listen to Him, and how you, how you just uh, are obedient to Him for God's glory to come to your whole family. And I remember in the Bible it talks about Abraham, how he was praying and the Lord spoke to him and said to me, I want you to take your family and go to this land where I will show you. And I feel that the Lord says, I've always, and I, I also spoke to you and I told you, go there, do that. But it's not only for you, it's for your whole family. And I see how the, the Lord come and blesses you. God bless you, Gloria. Amen. God bless you, Gloria. God loves you. I love your name. This next word is for Francisco. Francisco, God loves you so much. While praying for you, I saw a picture of how God gave you um, the sword of His Word. And I just feel God is really equipping you with His Word. But then I saw another uh, book that God gave you. And this book was uh, labeled business and I just saw how God is going to send like um, a mentor God is calling you to um, I just see how you're coming into like a new chapter of your life um, with your business and your finances and I just feel God is really going to open up doors and how you make yourself available and I think I, I heard it from I heard it from this person recently that the most successful people in the world, it wasn't because they had a plan. It was because um, they had a good attitude. And I just see how you spend time in the presence of God and how you receive such an um, amazing attitude, an attitude like Jesus and how that gets you promoted and how you lead people to, to um, walk in the attitude of Jesus. So I really feel God is going to open up a door for you. God loves you so much. God bless you. Okay, Francisco, I just want to add, I feel the Lord says that you are a man of order. Yeah. You always need, you always ready, and you're very dependable. And that's why the Lord is giving you opportunities, and He makes you a steward, and He knows He can trust you. God bless you, Francisco. So the next word is for Yi Wa Wong. Okay, uh, the Lord is showing to me how He connects you supernaturally in 2025. He connects you in business, in family, and also in the area of ministry. And so the Lord says that you are going to be able to get resources and provision and also input and encouragement and even direction from God from many, many uh, connections that He's uh, putting into your life. Uh, and so the Lord says, I'm making you effective. And just like, uh, you know, when you use a laser, a laser takes lots of light from a wide angle and it comes in it and all gets focused on one little point and then that's the laser that can cut or it can put something uh you know eat something up and i feel in the same way that the lord says i'm, I'm giving you a lot of input but you're going to use it with laser focus to work for me uh, to do business for me but also to preach the gospel and bring people into the kingdom of god and to heal them god bless you God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Alba. Alba, God, the Lord loves you so much. And there's really um, just a, an anointing over your life. While praying for you, I saw a picture of like a blanket over you of the glory of God. And I just feel how the Lord says, I am your covering. And then I saw a picture of how, so recently we got a bunch of avos, right? So we have all these avos in a bowl, but then there was like one bad avo. And I just saw how like it's affected the rest of them. And I just feel how the Lord says, don't let a person or a thing, um, 
that that is rotten or not good um, come into your life because it's going to affect you. Even though the other avos were perfect and then I just saw how um, it, it just it just affected it. It was at the bottom so we didn't really see it. Um, and we were wondering are all the avos affected but it was actually mainly this one. Um, and the more and the more further the, the other avos were from it the, the better they were. But I, I just feel how the Lord says that I am going to take out what is rotten from your life and I'm going to restore it with my Holy Spirit. And I just feel how you there's also some things that you're asking God how do I sort out the situation and if I could describe it it's kind of like um, leaves on a on a tree in autumn and I just see how it's like those leaves just blow away when God like sent his wind so I just feel the Lord says don't stress just know that it, it's going to it's going to blow away if it, it's not necessary um, to be there God loves you so much and I really feel God is making a way in your life God loves you God bless you Awesome, uh, Alba. God loves you very, very much. All right, Cindy. The Lord is showing to me how He puts this soundproof earphones on your on your head, and you clearly hear the voice of God. But the Lord kind of um, washes out all the other sounds uh, that comes to you, so that you won't react to circumstances, but you'll react to the glory and the presence of God. The Lord is making you more aware of God's voice and even of His presence and of angels around you, of His presence on you and even that healing anointing that God has given to you. And so He's helping you to just kind of blind out all the, the things from the outside that wants to make you anxious and cause you to, to panic. And I know um, uh, I haven't been many times but I think about two times in my life I've been at the shooting range. Okay? And when I go there they put these mufflers over the their ears and then when they shoot you don't really hear the impact uh, of that shot although you, you hear it but it doesn't give you that fright all right uh, and so that's why they put it on there so they can stay focused to aim at the target and I felt that the Lord says I'm giving you in a spirit things I want you to pray for and I want you to stand in faith and I want you to focus on a target and when you hear that sound that comes from uh, circumstances around you it will not affect you because the Lord is putting his hands on you and you clearly hear his voice and the Lord is just saying to you I love you and I just see this covering and this love of God over you God bless you Cindy Amen God bless you Cindy God loves you that was such a beautiful word this next word is for Jimmy Jimmy God loves you so much and God is really using you to portray the Father's heart so while praying for you I just feel like like you're really God has really called you um, a man after his own heart and then I saw how um, God gave you some people that you are supposed to lead mentor be there for it could even be your kids and then I just saw how like they're trying to figure everything out they're trying to like work this computer but why is it not working and I just feel how the Lord gives you the wisdom and he tells you where to look and it's like oh it's it's not plugged in and I just feel there's a lot of things that God is going to do in your life in your family's lives is as simple as if there's no plow power plug it in and I just feel how the Lord is really going to use you in that practical way because there's a lot of people that don't understand practicality and I just feel like God is going to use you for that just to be a voice in people's lives and then I also saw a picture of how people uh, young people come to you with lyrics and songs and poems and I just feel how the Lord says I'm going to use you to train them how to execute and how to to say it and, and you know um, I just saw how God was just giving all the chords and, and the and the melodies for these sounds and I just feel the Lord says the Holy Spirit is really going to use you mightily in that um, to really be a mentor but to really be that puzzle piece into a lot of people's arts and messages um, that you're going to team up with and lead God loves you God bless you Jimmy hey Jimmy God bless you the Lord has called you to prosper and yeah. uh, the Lord didn't call you to, to struggle uh, but he wants you to be a uh, a place, a person that overflows with generosity. God bless you, Jimmy. Okay, Ilza, uh, the Lord uh, was showing me very clearly financial breakthrough for you and for your family. And I felt that the family is in a transition time. And so in this time, the Lord is going to help you to get rid of the old things that you've been, that, that cost the family uh, money and a, a lot of time. And I see how the Lord kind of let that go and you, you connect it anew and the Lord provides supernaturally and so the Lord doesn't want you to go into debt or your family to go to in debt but the Lord wants to bless you, wants you to overflow and I just see how the Lord provides for every need that you have and I also feel that the Lord is giving you that strength to keep on to walk in joy and, and not to 
become anxious or sad over, over something. The Lord has always been faithful to you and He will continue to be faithful. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Mariana. Mariana, the Lord loves you so much. And I just really feel how God is healing you completely in this time. And I just feel the Lord says my word is complete. And I, I just feel the Lord is just really saying the things that I'm establishing in your life, I'm not going to do like a halfway job. I'm going to complete it. And I just feel God is just restoring your faith and saying, I'm not done yet. I'm still going to finish what I've started in your life, in your calling. And I just feel God is saying there's so much more um if if i could describe it it's it's like um like a painting that's half done but sometimes a painting that's half done is still beautiful but it's still not the goal of what it was supposed to be and i just feel the lord is um it, it was like all those details are done and now god is going to add more color to it like the sky and the green grass and i just feel the lord says that um things are going to start to show um starting from the spirit into the out god loves you so much mariana and i just feel the lord says you are precious to me you are a warrior i'm the one who gives you strength and i will take care of you because i love you so much god loves you god bless you hey mariana uh, god bless you okay so the next word is for judith okay so uh, judith uh, i felt that the lord is putting an anointing of restoration on you and the lord says that there is healing coming to you as a person but also to your family and so the Lord shows me Zacchaeus uh, in the Bible. And you know, remember Zacchaeus was on the tree uh, branch and he, or the fig tree, I think. And he wanted to see Jesus. And then Jesus said to him, today I'm coming to your house. And so then uh, Zacchaeus said to the Lord, Lord, I'm going to make all these things right where I've sinned. And then the Lord said, today salvation came to this family. And I felt that the Lord says, salvation is coming to your family. And these things that has been wrong for a long time and it's really caused a lot of hurt. I see how the Lord comes and bring complete healing and restoration between family members in your own heart and in your life. And the Lord says, I've called your family as a dwelling place of the presence of God. And I've called you personally as a person that overflows with God's glory and with His love. And when people come close to you, uh, I don't want you to push them away, but I want you to embrace them with the love of God. And that's what the capacity that the Lord is putting in your life. The Lord loves you very, very much uh, and He's bringing restoration. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Tony. Tony, while praying for you, I saw how you went into a building and how there were just curtains everywhere and it was like a um, moth got hold of them and it was like it was old, it was dusty and even the curtain poles were rusted and I just saw how you say I'm going to make an investment and I'm going to store up my, my treasures in the spirit and how you broke some generational things and how you tore down those old curtains. I don't know if it was like for your ministry your family but I just saw how the Lord says I'm take, I'm going to use you as a mighty tool to take away the old and I'm going to shine my light through every single room in your house um, in, in your life I just feel the Lord says that every single area of your life is very important for me and I'm going to really bring so much joy and and, and um, victory into those areas and then lastly I just saw how God is, is calling you um, for business and how God is giving you um, wisdom when to buy, when to sell and, and I just feel the Lord says that um, for a season you're going to do it by yourself but God is going to um, show you the people that you're going to work with um, in the future God loves you God bless you hey uh, Tony I'm always aware when I minister to you about your business anointing the leadership that God has given you uh, the government anointing and so now that Amy minister it's nice to get someone to just give a different perspective <laughs> of what she sees and so I really appreciate it all right Tony we appreciate you yeah. family thank you very much it was wonderful for me and Amy to minister to each one of you cool. uh, I want to encourage you if you want to support us you can go to the unity with heaven teaching channel uh, it's a purple unity with heaven in the in a little circle and you can uh, go and comment there and just bless me uh, by viewing all the videos and giving me comments on all the videos and sharing it with everybody you know. <laughs> that will really, really bless me. All right? uh, and then Amy, of course, she's got a channel, Amy Storm, and yes. that's a worship channel where yeah. she posts videos where she just worship God. So I want to encourage you, go and check her out and also write her a message. You know, uh, she she obviously know all the 10 names of the people that were on this video. So she will be able to recognize if you also come 
onto her video and give her a comment. She will really love it. Family, uh, if you would like to receive ministry like this in the future, you can write your name in the comments and I'll put you on the list. So right now my list is until midway of Saturday. Uh, so I'm about a day and a half ahead now with the names. So if you put your, your names on the list and then I'll schedule you and I would love to minister with you. And I usually minister with Amy. Uh, sometimes with, with Ian or Kimi, but it's most of the time with Amy. All right. So thank you, family. We love you. God bless you. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable, and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here. Yeah.